It's been one whole year since Roe v. Wade was overturned. Which means they've been making abortion illegal all over the place. So these are dark times. These are dark times. Dark times. Dark times. Un tiempo muy oscuro. Because now, now that Roe v. Wade is overturned, a woman can get pregnant just from having sex. <sighs> oh. I'm not seriously considering going down the dangerous path of abstinence until marriage. I find myself in this really bizarre state where I'm asking guys about things like their values and trustworthiness before sleeping with them. Before a girl will have sex with me now, she's asking me all these dumb questions like, do you love me? And what happens if I get pregnant? And do you have a job? <sighs> like, I don't know. Abortion being illegal where I live has definitely raised the bar for which men I'll date and have sex with. And that's a terrible thing. It used to be that if I got a girl pregnant, I would just force her to get an abortion. And I can't do that anymore. And that's awful. I can't tell you how many first dates I've had in the last year where no sex happens. All we do is talk about who we are and get to know each other. Ladies, if you haven't done it already, you need to get an IUD. This will make your uterus a toxic and hostile environment like it's supposed to be. It's like now sex is such a bigger deal. It's not just about me using someone else's body to get myself off. It's like the government is making me responsible for a bunch of stuff I shouldn't be responsible for, like my sex life and my children. Why would I ever want to bring a child into a world like this? A world in which it's illegal to kill children. I live in constant fear of a baby somehow finding its way into my uterus. So these are dark times. Dark times. Dark times. The overturning of Roe v. Wade did this to me. The Supreme Court of the United States put this inside of my body. Okay, so new idea here. I think that a man and a woman, before they have sex, need to draw up some sort of contract that says, I promise to take care of you and you promise to take care of me and we both promise to take care of any kids that we produce together. I mean, like, I know it's new, I know it's shocking, I know it's out there, but that kind of contract is the only way that I see us moving forward. That's marriage. No, no, it's not. I, well... Amy Coney Barrett personally did this to me. <laughs>